Welcome back, this is episode number 11 of this tutorial series on Raspberry Pi for complete beginners. You can find the series playlist link in the description. And let's get started. In this tutorial, we are going to come back to the circuit we have built in a previous episode of the series. So far, we have one LED and one push button connected to the Raspberry Pi. We are going to add two more LEDs so that we can create more complex and funnier applications. So, first of all, make sure that one, you have correctly shut down your Raspberry Pi, okay, from the software, directly from the Raspberry Pi desktop. Then you wait a few seconds and then you can remove the power cable. I'm going also to remove the SD card just in case so I don't damage it. I put it on the side and I'm going to add two more LEDs so you can just pick any color you want, right? And for those two LEDs, I will need two more resistors. Those are one kilo ohm resistors. I also need two more cables. So two wires, male to female. So the best thing is if you have different colors, then use different colors. Okay, so you don't mix them and try to avoid using red and black. Red for power, black for ground. So let's take our um, breadboard here, our circuit. We don't change anything here that already exists. We are going to take, so let's take our first LED. And you can see that we have short leg and long leg. So we are going to connect the shorter leg to the ground. So let's put it uh, somewhere here. So short leg to the ground and the longer lead to another pin to another dot here okay so we have that and now we are going to do the same thing with the third led so let's check which okay that is the shorter leg we are going to connect it to the ground so let's place it here for example doesn't really matter the exact uh, place okay so we have one lead to lead with the short leg of each led connected to the ground which is the blue line here and we have already the black wire now i'm going to take one resistor put it on one of the legs so the longer leg of this LED and another another dot here. So make sure you don't connect, of course, uh, this leg of the resistor with the longer leg of the LED, uh, that one, okay, because you don't want to mix everything up. So just take one free slot, okay, and then do the same with the other resistor. Put it inside, make sure it's correctly inside, okay? Okay, and make sure the, the wires don't touch each other. Looks good. Now you take one wire, so you plug the male into here, okay? With the other side of the resistor. And you are gonna plug the female part just next to that one here. So you have already plugged the first LED to GPIO number 17. And now we are going to plug the second GPIO to number 27, okay? So it's very easy here. It's just always on the same row, okay? The internal side of the Raspberry Pi. You have the ground here which is number five, and then number six, you have GPIO 17. Number seven, you have GPIO 27. And that is where we are going to put our second LED. And our third LED, we are going to put it on GPIO 22, which is the next one. And let's just plug it here and let's put it right there. Okay. So we have, as you can see, three in a row. So 17, 
27 and 22. And make sure, this is why you should be uh, careful with where you plug your wires, because the next one here, the very next pin, if you look at the image with the pin out, the very next pin is a power pin. It's a 3.3 volt pin. So you don't want to directly connect a wire to that uh, from somewhere that you are not sure. Okay, this may damage your board. All right, so the hardware setup is finished. We have, so the, we check that LED here. The short leg is connected to the ground. The long leg is connected to one leg of the resistor, which is going to another dot and which is then going to right here, that GPIO. And the same for the green LED here. The shorter leg to the ground, the longer leg to one leg of the resistor, and then going back to GPIO. All right, now you can put back the SD card in the slot. Make sure it's correctly inside the slot and power on the Raspberry Pi. All right, that's the end of this episode. If you found it useful, you will definitely like my full complete course on Raspberry Pi named Raspberry Pi for Beginners. This course contains 10 hours of hands-on video lessons. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for watching, see you in the course or in the next tutorial of the series.